EagleRunner.com. You can do it. Okay, here I'm going to test two automobile type fuses, the newer style and the older style. We're going to use a multimeter. We want to make sure we set it up right. Black lead in the common, red lead in the volt ohms position. Flick our meter over to ohms and hold your meter leads together. Well, wait a minute. We got an M there. That M stands for mega, mega ohms. We don't want mega ohms because it'll throw you off. Here, if I'm accidentally touching the meter lead, you can see the resistance of my body from hand to hand is 1.8 mega ohms. That's the electric current going through my body. We don't want those goofy readings, so put it in the ohms position. Put your meter leads together. Make sure your meter leads are good. We read 0.1. And here's your typical auto fuse. This one's transparent. All of them are. Sometimes you can't tell. But you see the metal filament in there. It looks good. Usually you can tell if it's burnt or blown. Now you take one meter lead, touch it to one end. Take the other meter lead, touch it to the other, and see what you get. Here we're reading 0 0.2, 0 0.1. If it was an open, it would look like that. OL, open circuit. Put them back together. Reading 0.2. That's a good fuse. Then we're going to take the newer style fuse, or more commonly used ones today. And it's the same as these. You can see, you can see it's almost transparent, but you can usually see the metal filament. And we can see it's still intact, because these you can usually tell if it's blown. Put one meter lead on one probe, the other meter lead on the other. And here we're reading 0.1. So we know that fuse is good. I actually get it to go down to point zero, which is really outstanding. So we know that one's good. And that's basically how you test your typical auto fuses. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.